This happened maybe three years ago. It was my little sister's birthday and I was going into Best Buy to buy a new Kindle since the old one shattered. I'm looking around and just trying to get someone to unlock them for me and this guy comes up behind me and asks if I need help. I turn around and realize he's not an employee, just an older guy. I was very confused and thought that I heard him wrong. He was undressing me with his eyes and I've never been more creeped out in my life. He said, do you need help? No, I'm okay. He said then, I just saw you from outside and thought I'd follow you in and see if I could help you with anything. That's completely unnecessary thanks. I basically booked it a hell away from him and walked around the store, but he was following me, trying to talk to me. I weaved in and out of the aisles and I walked out of the store and pretty much ran to my car and locked the doors and left. I was so paranoid about him following me. I went home and ordered the Kindle online. So this happened when I was 7 years old or so with my brother who was 4 years older than me. My brother and I were sitting in the car while our mum was shopping inside a fresh and easy grocery store. Normally we would lock the door as soon as our mum would leave, but that day we forgot. This guy was coming out of the grocery store, he had a very distinct and creepy look to him. Immediately my brother and I looked at each other and started yelling, MURDERER! while laughing. We locked the doors as more of a joke, but looking back, it was a smart move. Ten or so minutes later, we see mum briskly walking out of the store. As soon as she got to the car, she threw all the groceries in the trunk and got in as fast as she could. Since we still thought it was funny, my brother and I began to tell her about the creepy looking guy and how we thought he was a serial killer. We were expecting her to laugh, but she seemed more scared than anything. She asked us if we could lock the doors and proceeded to tell us her experience inside the grocery store. The same guy was following her around as she shopped, staring right at her. She had to basically walk around in circles to get him to stop following her. Finally, he left the store coinciding with when we saw him. After hearing her story, we were so glad that we locked the car door. What first seemed like a slightly creepy guy was suddenly a lot scarier. This happened a few hours ago and I'm still kind of scared to be completely honest. A bit of a backstory, I'm a female in a small town who's considered to be quite safe. I decided to have dinner at McDonald's with my dad. So we get into the McDonald's, everything is great. We order and sit down at the table. We are just talking to each other for a while, before a guy sits down across from us. He has no food, nothing, just his phone. He will not stop staring at me. Our food arrives and I stop worrying about a guy and start to eat. A few minutes later I hear the sound of a photo being taken. That click kind of thing when you take a picture on your phone with the sound on. I quickly turn around and look at a guy who has his phone angled at me and is now meeting my gaze. I turn away, trying not to think about it before I hear another click. I don't dare to look this time. My dad wasn't paying attention and he would tell me I was full of crap if I said anything. So I didn't. We finished up our food and the guy left. So creepy guy from McDonald's, let's not meet. So, about 10 minutes ago I was jogging through my neighbourhood that I just moved into. I have not experienced anything weird, but we just moved here in the fall. It's now springtime and I guess the freaks are out. While jogging up, ahead of me, I see a car that pulled into a driveway, but not all the way. In our neighbourhood the driveways are long and the sidewalks are set a bit away from the road. So they cut part way through yards and driveways. He's idling between the sidewalk and road. As I'm getting closer to the car, the window rolls down and a man eyes are on me. I could practically sense the slobber. I think, 
Ew, but whatever, weirdo. I pass him up. As I'm heading towards the next road, I notice the same car pass me and slow way down. I don't have time for this crap. Luckily I have headphones in and I'm moving at a quick pace. No time for stopping. Sorry dude. I pass him, hoping he just gives up. He drives past me, but super slow. I ignored him. He drove ahead and now I'm starting to freak a little. And thinking, what if this guy does this the whole time? I round a soft corner and who's at the end of the street but this jerk wad stopped and waiting. Coincidentally, I am on a street with a house on it that has a backyard parallel with mine. I decide to cut through the backyard of this house and quickly get home. When I got home, I locked all the doors and I'm currently camped at a window for any signs of the creeper. How lucky I am that I was where I was when this occurred. He could have followed me home, but I don't think he did because I don't see him. But I'll keep watching.